Welcome to another episode of All Things Mac. I'm your host, Jim Fair. Well, I thought I'd come outside and make a recording outdoors because it is such a lovely day. It's, uh, it's only 11 degrees Celsius, but it feels warmer sitting here in the sun. So today I'd like to tell you how to reinstall El Capitan or downgrade to El Capitan when your only option is to use Apple's internet recovery mode. So uh, the procedure is basically goes like this. So if we boot up holding down shift option command R and what that'll do is give us the oldest OS our Mac will support. So I'm testing this on a Mac Pro 2013 and what comes up is El Capitan. So if we go through that procedure, the install fails. Why? There's an expiry date built into Apple's installer, even, yes, the installer that they host on the internet for internet recovery mode, which is rather dumb, but this will get you around that problem. So uh, the procedure is basically this. You know, you start up with shift option command R, you run disk utility, erase your device, you reinstall Mac OS X, El Capitan, and then on the first boot, it's not really reinstalling, it's downloading. On the first boot, you hold down Command S for single user mode. That'll put us at a command prompt. We enter a date command to set the clock back to the year 2014. We then disconnect from the internet and we type in the word exit and that'll complete the, uh, the second boot and bring up the installer which will then run without any errors. Once that's finished we can reconnect to the to the uh, internet. Now this presents a problem if you're on Wi-Fi because there's no uh, little icon to turn the Wi-Fi off when you're in recovery mode, right? So how do you disable the Wi-Fi so that the clock doesn't get set forward automatically when it syncs uh, to a time server? And the answer is you have to disable your Wi-Fi for that portion of the install. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to turn off your Wi-Fi router. <laughs> of course, that'll bring down the internet in your entire household, which may annoy uh, other folks in the household. So plan ahead for this. Do it late at night when no one's around or when no one's really uh, in the middle of something, like they're watching something, streaming, you know so that when your internet goes down, it's not a big deal. Another way, if you don't want your internet to go down, would be to get into your Wi-Fi router and change the Wi-Fi password. Of course, I will change the Wi-Fi password on all the devices in your house, which might be more of a problem than it is a solution. So, but that's another method. Uh, you could also, you know, think up other ways to do it. But basically, the easiest way is to turn off that router or to move so far away from it that the connection is no longer viable. So that way the Mac will not see that it's the year 2020 and your install will complete successfully. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna walk through that. Yeah, the, uh, the garbage trucks are loading up on a street nearby. What a racket that is, eh? So step one, we boot up with the option, well, we can go Shift, Option, Command, R, and the Shift part of the command is what gives you the oldest operating system that your hardware supports. If you just boot with Option, Command, R, you're going to get Catalina, if your computer supports Catalina, or the newest OS that your hardware will support, uh, which I imagine is not what you're trying to do. So uh, if Shift Option Command R is too much for you to manage, start up with the Option key down. Once you have the Startup Manager graphical user interface, hold the three keys, Shift Option Command, and then tap the letter R, and that'll put you into Internet Recovery Mode. So you'll see a globe. Uh, you might be asked to select a Wi-Fi network and enter the password if you're using Wi-Fi. If you're using Ethernet, like me, you'll just see the globe spinning. Okay, so again, Ethernet is highly recommended, much, much easier to disconnect from the uh, network by unplugging the cable, then you don't have to turn off your router. 
as your computer is booting over the internet, it may take some time. If you have a slow connection, it may fail completely and give you various error messages. And what happens when you do that? Well, you try again. But once you are up and running, what do you do? Run disk utility, highlight your internal drive and click erase and give your drive a name like Macintosh space HD. Don't change the format or the scheme from the defaults. Uh, click done and close disk utility. Double click on reinstall OS 10 or click reinstall OS 10 and click continue and the installer launches. Now it's not really installing at this point. It's, um, well, once you get past the license agreement, you're clicking install, uh, but really what it's doing, it's downloading. It says we're downloading additional components and your computer will restart automatically. So, you know, even though we clicked install, we're not actually installing anything yet. We're just downloading. But when we restart, I want to come up in um, single user mode with command S. So, you know, watch for the moment when the thing restarts. Hold down the command and the letter S like Sierra key and uh, until you see white text over a black background that you can let go. That'll drop us into single user mode and then we can issue the date command to backdate the system clock. Uh, so I'm ready for the restart. Oh, there's my favorite. 513,699 hours, whatever. <laughs> Zero seconds remaining. Okay, and you're going to see the little twirly guy, little twirly thing right below the cancel. See, yes, yeah, there. So get ready to hold Command S. As soon as the screen goes black, we press and hold those two keys, Command and S, for single user mode. Okay, the screen is black. I'm holding Command S. And voila, there's single user mode, spitting out all the gobbledygook we don't care about. And now you might be hard pressed to see what I'm typing here, but I'm just going to type it anyway. So I'm going to type date, I'm going to go 12 for December, 22 for the 22nd of December, 1800 hours and 00 minutes, and then 14 is the year, and then I type in the word exit and hit return and then we'll see what happens next don't know what else we can do here we might need to disconnect the ethernet i'm going to pop it out here and just see if it's going to stall yet so uh, the trick here is to get the date back after we've downloaded everything and we're starting the install so let's just see, it's booting. So phase one is the download, phase two is the install. So it says to set up the installation, click continue. Continue, agree, there's our drive, continue. Okay, now we're installing with the ethernet unplugged so we're no longer on the network, so the clock in the system has been dated back to December 22nd, the year 2014, which I happen to know is a, a date that works. So, you know, today's date, for example, doesn't work. You'll get that awful message. No packages eligible for install. So you can see, it looks like El Capitan is finished installing and it's going to restart. I'm going to click to help it speed up. We see the single user mode briefly and then the screen goes black and we restart. Apple logo, progress bar appears and I'm expecting to see Apple setup to ask us to set up this Mac. 
So at this point, I believe I can plug the Ethernet cable back in safely. And the computer will eventually figure out that it's the year 2020. <laughs> the new network interface has been detected. There's no point trying to go to the preferences here, so we need to hit cancel. Select your country, click continue, keyboard. I'm not transferring anything. This is where you would restore from a time machine backup, by the way. But I'm not going to do that. Continue, and if you want location services, you can turn it on. Don't sign in to Apple because they would turn on all those things we don't need. And then we're going to create an account. Admin. I'm just going to go APPLE is my password. And set time zone based on current location. And it should figure out that it is currently April 2020. And that should be that. Welcome to El Capitan. And yes, it is figured out it's April 2020. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Fade out.